Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke, and today we're gonna have a short theoretical discussion. I'm not an expert on the topic, but I do understand that there is a little bit of a difference here. And we're gonna compare strength training versus force training. Now, if I am just trying to lift more weights so that I can brag to my coworkers, then, you know, you're looking for strength training, absolutely. But as I become a more advanced athlete, as I've, you know, if I've done five by five for six months or two years or whatever you're doing, uh, I eventually start to accommodate to this and I'm not gonna see the same returns. My, I'm gonna hit a strength plateau. And at that point, I probably would benefit from thinking about strength training, not as strength training, but as force training. Okay, so force is the acceleration of a mass, okay? Now, if I take my weight and I move it really, really fast, I'm gonna have higher forces. Or I could move a higher weight slower and still have the same amount of force. Now, what we see is people who are really good at moving slowly throughout strength work generally see their peak force right around their heaviest weights, okay? Um, but if you're a little bit faster than that, you might not see that. You might have muscles that are really good at moving quickly, and you might be able to train your force better at weights that are slightly underneath the max weight that you can do. So if you've been doing the max weight that you can do, maybe it would be better for you to take a month and purposefully do something a little bit lighter, but absolutely try to move it with maximal intent, with maximal velocity. That will help you tap into a little bit more force training. Now, the last thing I wanna say is if you're a, an athlete, you shouldn't really prioritize strength training at all because it's not going to, uh, it's, it's not the measure that we, <laughs> we use to get better at sports. All sports is just force applied in, you know, hopefully very well choreographed times. And that's where, you know, tactical, technical skill comes in play. Um, but it doesn't matter if you can squat 700 pounds in triple ply squat suits if you can't kind of even approach doing 500 without all that stuff, right? It's not going to have the same translation on the field. And the field or the ice rink or the basketball court or whatever sport you're training for, that's where we're actually trying to get your performance. So in these cases, you wanna look at where am I going to get the most force? Now you can measure that with a force plate if you're kind of rich and you bought one, um, most people don't have one. You can also film it and measure how fast you go and look at, you can just calculate, this was the load of the movement, this was how fast I moved it based on the video data that I have. You can download some sort of movement analysis software and it'll calculate velocities for you as long as you calibrate it correctly. Um, it's kind of cool. You should try it sometime. It's really kind of a pain to do all the time. Um, the other way you can measure how fast the bar goes is by using uh, acceleration or whatever software. You know, one of those little tether things that you tie to a bar, whether it's a Tendo unit or whether it's a gym aware unit, or even if you're just trying to approximate stuff with an accelerometer in a push band, all that stuff can kind of give you a sense for how fast you're moving. And then you can start to further play with force training rather than just strength training.